Hey guys, Morgan's Maintenance. My wife's probably gonna finally kill me. I think I may have finally done it because I bought that $220 Weeha hammer off my Amazon wish list. If you remember a few videos ago, I mentioned I was wanting this hammer for specific reasons, the way it would fit in my bag, what it's used for. It's a small hammer, but there's no way I'm paying $220 for it. Well, that's what it was on Amazon, but then there's something a little bit more to that, which I'll get into in a minute. But you guys gave me a lot of suggestions on how to go about getting this and I ended up getting it for significantly cheaper than that $220. So appreciate y'all on that. And I'm gonna talk to you about how I got that this cheap and then we'll go over kind of the features of this hammer, how it fits in my bag, all those things like that. But before I get into that, I also wanna mention that I picked up this Philo uh, insulated screwdriver that was also in my wish list, but this has been discontinued ever since I even put it in my wish list. Like it's never even been an option for me to get my hands on this. I've looked at eBay, I've looked everywhere else. Wasn't able to get this, but Matthew Nowick, uh, friend of the channel, subscriber on the channel, and I hope I pronounced your name right, but AKA Romans 116 is what he was before. Now he's Jesus.strong. He emailed me and said, hey, I've got one of these and it's kind of an extra driver for me. I'd be, uh, he really wanted to send it to me. So uh, he sent it out to me, I got it the other day. So I just wanted to thank you for that. Now this is a fully insulated, screwdriver that takes any bit that you want to so you can just get into your bit box your bit case whatever you got in your truck whatever and you have an insulated screwdriver for whatever that is and then it also slightly magnetizes which that's how the bits are held in with a magnet you can hear that click in it also magnetizes the bit slightly you know not significantly but i'm sure if it was a smaller screw that would work out well but you know i don't necessarily need it as a space saver in this bag uh, because I keep all my tools in this one. But once I get my camper top, I'm going to kind of probably go back to a two bag system with this bag and then a smaller bag. And I think this is going to work out great in that. And then not only that, now I can take my ECX bits uh, that I carry with me all the time. And now I can have an insulated screwdriver to take my ECX bits as well. So unfortunately, you guys won't be able to get one of these unless you've got some friend out there that wants to send you one too. But again, I just wanted to thank you before I got into this video for sending me this. I can't wait to kind of put it to use and see how well it's going to work for me. So I wanted to give him a shout out before we get, get into this. So now this Weehaw Hammer, again, it was $220 and it's the SB846. 300 electrician's hammer that's what it's called but i think this is a good hammer for an electrician uh, a maintenance person and, and uh, probably anybody really it's just a smaller hammer though so it's not gonna you know you don't want to frame a house with this or go in and even do a framing job or you know any of that kind of work and probably even necessarily some really stout demo you don't want to use this for that either that's not what this hammer is for it's a much smaller hammer it is roughly I think it was around 11 and 7 eighths or around 11 and 8 inches long is what you have on the length. And then the head from the head to the back is about 4 and 7 eighths. So small compact hammer. I think they say that the hammer head weighs 300 grams. It's a very light hammer. It's not real heavy. And it's got several different uses. But how did I go about getting this? Because again, it's $220 on American Amazon but that is because it also says that there's four pieces in there. And I didn't notice that, but if you go down and read the reviews or the question and answers, there's people who ask, uh, is there four hammers in this? And then of course you're gonna get two or three people answer yes. And then one person I answer no, I only got one hammer. You know, that stuff is always crazy to me. I don't know how you come up with so many different answers in that Amazon question and answers, but Mitch Azuri 10 noticed that it was a set of four and he mentioned to me, he said, it's a set of four hammers. So you get four for $220. So again, that, that makes it not so bad. You know, you're looking at, you know, 55 bucks a piece, but who needs four hammers at one time, unless you're, you know, an electrician company and you're buying one for each one of your uh, workers and things like that. I don't need four hammers. It wouldn't do me any good to do that. So it wasn't going to work out well for me for that. But several of you, gave me great advice basically to get it shipped in whether it was to go through ebay uh, go through some different websites whatever it was but then stan the man rosenblum he said hey over on amazon uk uh, which now again you've just opened up a whole new world of 
problems for me because now I'm shopping on the Amazon UK. Now I, I just ordered something off Amazon Japan. I've got that coming from across the ocean as well. So I didn't even really dig in to know that I could do such a thing as swap my country and then order stuff and get it shipped to me. So now you've just made it even worse for me on buying tools, I think. But he said, you needed to check that out. So I went over to Amazon UK. I changed my country on my Amazon list and it's only $33.99 in that money. So I ended up getting it from the UK and then after shipping and everything and the currency exchange, all that, ended up getting it for $51.57. So again, if you divided the 220 by four, it was around 55 bucks per hammer. So I still got it a little bit cheaper even shipped to me by going through Amazon UK, but I only had to buy one hammer. So, you know, $50 is feasible for me. I think it's a good price for this hammer, especially for what I'm gonna use it for and the fact that it's going to fit in my bag like I want it to. So that's the main thing that I was wanting it for, was for my MCT. So if you have a Tech MCT, again, it has to be the MCT, the taller version, you know, you could put it in here like this and it fits in there nice. Uh, see if I can get the light on that. Uh, it even got a little bit of extra room up here. You know, you've got some extra space even to get that in and out. So it would fit in there, but it also fits into the D-ring. And if you put it in the D-ring, it doesn't touch the ground by like a maybe a quarter of an inch or a half an inch with that D-ring in there like that. So it works that way too and it's not dragging the ground. So it's basically the perfect hammer for this bag if you was going to buy a hammer for this bag as far as the size of it like if you buy one that's a little bit bigger you can't fit it in here or it hits the ground and pops in and out every time you touch the ground so that's i took the measurements of this back whenever i was looking into it and i thought that it would work well with this so that's why i wanted to get it but it also has some good features i think again for electricians uh just maintenance people maybe even somebody else so it touts several different things uh, so one is it's got this u-shaped head which gives you this flat surface all the way down which allows you to get into tight spaces is what it shows so if you're putting in uh, insulation staples or something like that it allows you to basically be closer to the wall and then not have to worry about whatever you're hitting i'm not going to hammer all the way through there and nail that because it's going to put it into my workbench but i just did this real fast just to show you you know that's that's kind of how this works is that it's flat and allows you to get in close contact with something so if you needed to get real close to something you know you can still do that with this so it has that flat surface it has a u-shaped head you know which is obviously different than you know most hammers you're going to get is going to be round and then you also have it's not near as flat and this normally sticks up a little bit taller than this on a lot of hammers. Now, you can buy different hammers that are kind of just like this Weehaw, but obviously it's going to be harder for you to get that into a situation like this and still be able to get to that in some places, especially this one that's back in here. You know, you're not, you're really never going to hardly be able to get to that, to that nail right there very easily. I mean, you can, but it's not going to be easy. That's what this makes uh quite a bit easy easier and then it also has kind of a hard but soft face right here that they suggest that you can use for tapping in wall anchors uh so it's hard enough uh i don't think you probably want to hammer nails in with it because i can't really tell it feels like it's just plastic to me i don't know if there's something underneath of there and again the, all the directions on this are in a different language in which i can't read so i couldn't tell you but it does show a picture of you tapping in these wall anchors into drywall and to masonry and things like this. And then this won't mar up your wall around that near as bad. So you could use it for something like that. And then obviously this flat right here is going to work well. And getting up in under there as well and pulling up staples if you have those in place. So again, I can't hardly do that without putting that on the ground and getting the leverage to be able to show it to you so again that's just this weha hammer uh if you've been maybe looking for a good hammer for your mct bag you might want to go over to the amazon uk see how much it costs you to ship it to your place because it's a lot cheaper obviously than 220 dollars it'd be nice if they just sold them 
one at a time where you didn't have to do all that and pay the shipping and all that but it seems like it's going to work out to about the same no matter what you do but uh several of you mentioned you had this one and you liked it i just now got it so again i haven't put it to to use or anything but it's definitely going to you know be my bag hammer and in a house and just doing things that are like a little service calls type hammer in my service bag it's not going to be the one i get out to do demolition with or frame with or anything like that but i think it's got its purpose and it's going to be in my bag fit nicely i think i'm going to like it but you guys let me know what you think about it uh, again hope this was useful in some way whether maybe you've been wanting that hammer uh, but you're just you didn't know how to go about getting it at a better price hopefully that helps you and then sorry if i open you up to a whole new world of buying from two different different amazons in different countries uh, your wives are probably going to hate me for this video but hope it was useful you guys stay safe have a blessed day and i'll see you on the next video